Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Levy, an associate professor of creative writing and English education, teaching future teachers how to teach, and the lead creator and trainer for dramatic writing for film, television, and theater one, a new ELA core requirement option for all Georgians, um, inspired by the exploding film and television industry in our state. I'm here today to talk to uh, you about an opportunity the University System of Georgia um, is giving to folks either on the job market or about to be on the job market um, in, in the state of Georgia, teacher ed folks like yourselves. First, real quick about how it was created. I work with and through the Georgia Film Academy um, and teamed up with the Department of Ed and you need a county, a district to uh, propose a new course. The course we proposed was uh, approved in 2018 by the G DOE board and by the University System of Georgia and the Technical College System of Georgia as an ELA core requirement option. That's so important, it's a game changer. And then the PSC, the Professional Standards Commission, that will be where your um, teaching certification is held. They also evaluated the course and decided that um, English teachers, theater teachers, and ABTF teachers, those are the broadcast teachers, can teach the course, but they also decided that you needed a micro endorsement to teach the course. Why? Because most um, English teachers, most theater teachers, ABTF teachers do not have screenwriting courses, playwriting, um, television writing courses in their college transcripts let alone how to teach them. So, and in the case of ABTF, they probably don't have the ELA pedagogy methodology courses you guys have. So they said, you can either go back to school, pick up those courses, or they looked really hard at the Georgia Film Academy's training, which I lead, um, and decided that that training would get you a micro endorsement. More on that later. Really quick, I wanted to say that um, our curriculum and our training uh, is created by industry professionals and ELA curriculum experts. So we've got screenwriting um, folks, television writing folks, um, playwriting folks. I'm a playwright, but also we sought um, counsel from some Alliance playwrights and then e English language arts curriculum experts all have their hands on the curriculum that we created. And then they are all part of the training team that trains the teachers. What is the course? I'm gonna try to go quick on this. Since it's an ELA core requirement option, we don't just start with screenwriting. We got we got to get the standards in there. So we start with the right what we call the writer's life. So right away from day one, students and teacher are immersed in the writing process, talking about everything from a process point of view. We use story as curriculum, which means we start with personal story and then uh, teach the um, uh, story writing components and talk about. Um, uh, uh, audience, not an audience of one, but but taking the personal and creating story, points of departure and creating story out of it. We embrace the best practice of teacher as writer. This is key for this particular course. So the teacher is part of the writing community. They are walking the walk. They're doing the, the major uh, assignments along with their students. So the conversations that are happening in the class are again, from a writer's point of view, not, hey, not like, hey, do it like me. No, my first draft sucks just like all of our first drafts suck. And I'm going to have those conversations from that point of view. We workshop, but we build on that workshop, unlike some other English classes, because we know we're coming up to playwriting and screen and television writing, we're going to workshop and teach workshopping the way real writers uh, workshop in these genres. And real writers workshop in these genres, they bring a scene in or, or maybe more than a scene and they cast it, they have to hear it out loud. You got to hear in playwriting, screenwriting, television writing, whether your jokes are jokes, whether they're funny, whether your poignant moments are poignant, whether your people sound like actual people, um, whether it drag the scene drags or goes too fast, it's confusing. That creates a revision plan. And that's what we teach the students. It also makes the class very much more um, participatory or kinesthetic because you're bringing your scene in, casting it with your um, classmates. Uh, and it's, it's just everybody's got they're they're always doing okay. Um, we like I said we don't start uh, writing screenplays at first, but we do start introducing using film and television as literature again from a writer's point of view. What does that look like? Well, we're not using film to babysit. We're using film over like we'll see a scene from a pilot episode, let's say, but we'll also look at the script that sold that pilot episode. And lots of times, almost all the time, the script that sold it 
is a little bit different than what they eventually shot. Like they might delete something or add something. We have those those discussions because they're able to see the script and the scene um, front. And then as we're starting to introduce how the story components, exposition, inciting incident, crisis, conflict, all that stuff, we're starting to talk about it. I call it ruining television for you. It doesn't really ruin television, but you can't help but see once you learn quote, how the sausage is made when you're watching shows. You just see it right away. We don't do a traditional research project for, for uh, this class. We, we do a multi-genre research project, which has been around a long time. But if you don't know it, 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 it again, emulates how real writers write. Real writers will do research, like finding out some um, information about an occupation for a character, for instance, or a place or whatever. And then that, get, that gets used, that information gets used in the script. The same thing with the MGP. Um, you do research, you analyze it, you synthesize it, and then you're doing something with it like real writers do. And it's a higher level on the Bloom's taxonomy. So that's what that is. And then we want, we get into playwriting and sort of our, our, our mission in playwriting is how do we make students patronize the theater after they leave us? Uh, because we, we kind of consider theater an endangered species in a way. Why? Well, Unless you have taken uh, or elected to take theater in high school, the likelihood that the only plays that you've been exposed to are written by dead white guys. Now those plays may be good or bad, that's a, that's a different show, but this class gives the opportunity not only to um, you know, feature contemporary theater, what's going on in contemporary theater, but read plays, stories for the stage written by diverse writers. Um, so that, that's, that's really key. And also it shows that these writers, that they're your favorite television, your favorite movie writers, they're playwrights. Most of them got their, their legs in the theater and a lot of them go back and forth like in the off season we'll write for, um, for the stage. Uh, we teach, you know, multi uh, person scenes, uh, monologues, but the main assessment is a 10 minute play because we don't have time to write a full length play. And also there's tons of contests out there. So for 10 minute play, I've seen a lot of teachers take a prompt from a, from a existing contest, use that, teach them how to write the play, a 10 minute play. And then students are actually sending their, their scripts out. So they're learning how to apply for these contests. What's the format, all those kinds of things. Very, again, has life applications. When we get to screenwriting, we teach a uh, 10 to 15 page uh, screenplay, short film. Why? Well, one, screenplays are written in three acts. So we're gonna teach the students what is an act, what goes in an act. And so they're gonna to start to practice that. But also we know that television and streaming is 80% of the business. But we also know that most of the folks who get those jobs start out by, by and build their portfolio by um, participating in these short, short film festivals um, and short film festival co uh, competitions. And so we want to teach the students how to write those kinds of screenplays that teaches them how to write screenplays, but also get them out there. Once we get into television, <coughs> we're, we're fully involved in showing them the business side of things, concepts, treatments, log lines pitching is a big project at the end of a course pitching to a network where the class becomes the network um so all to say we don't use uh, we don't we don't we don't write essays in this class, but we're using essay muscles all the time. Think about it. If you are pitching to a network, your pilot or your series, um, you are at literally asking them for millions of dollars, right? And so your pitch better be not only hook them and be engaging, entertaining, but it better be succinct. It better be persuasive. All the things that you would do in an essay, but you're not asking, why do I have to do this essay? You understand the life application for it. We also have a state 10-minute um, play contest where each school has to decide their some way, figure out what their best, uh, the, each school that teaches dramatic writing um, decides what's the best 10 minute play from their school. They send it to the state competition. We have professional um, industry folks who judge it. Six, six to eight student plays. And look, again, teacher is writer. Two, oh God, two teachers plays. Um, so uh, this is key. And the winners would get a state professional stage uh, production, uh, stage reading production with um, uh, professional actors, professional director. Last year obviously was the first year and we had to do it by Zoom, <laughs> we had to go. So, but, but it was really cool because we've got 
professional director, professional actor, professional actor, professional actor. Here's Shane from Effingham High School in Savannah, Georgia, right? First time he heard his play out loud by professional actors. He was over the moon, all the playwrights were. And then they pop on after a run through, the actors are asking them questions, asking the writer questions questions like they would in a professional setting as they're trying to understand their characters better but also there's a discussion about minor revisions so we would make minor revisions with the group uh, and then we would record the the last uh, run through and that became the show and I posted them on my YouTube channel folks could see you know one at a time or binge watch them and that was a way uh, to do it but again we were interacting with the professional world writing for something bigger and better than a grade we do it the same way for, for the screenwriting competition the extra caveat is that um, we have a, a generous donor who is giving um, you know, prize, scholarship prize money to first, second, and third place. That is how we're um, re reviewing those right now. This slide is your Edu Speak slide because, again, I want to make clear that this course, even though it's a quote creative writing course, is not a dumping ground elective course. It is a rigorous as any other core requirement option. We use all the same kinds of EduSpeak stuff that to create this course. Um, so it is, yes, the students are writing a ton in this course, the same they would in an ELA requirement course. You can make the case they're writing more, but they're just a little more invested in, in what they're writing. Um, and they're seeing the life applications for it, even if you don't want to become, you know, a, a, a screenwriter, all of the assignments have, you know, um, relevance to other professions where you would have to present or pitch, etc. The questions we got asked in the beginning was, um, you know, does this because we we haven't seen a new ELA core requirement in so 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 long, um, you know, does this class qualify for hope? Can my kids still get into UGA? Well, the um, DOE responded super fast with a an awesome solution. You can see here I'm I'm circling this line number. They made it the same line number as advanced composition, which is already a core ELA course that you probably know of in Georgia, but that fixes everything because your counselors and your college admission folks, that's what they look at. It also has allowed um, schools and, and they're doing it uh, to offer it as an honors advanced composition. So honors dramatic writing, oh, sorry, sensitive, honors dramatic writing. So again, it meets the fourth ELA core requirement option for graduation in college admissions and this is the two page document linked here as well that you can you know read the full uh, explanation for it. What is in the number so as of 2021 we've trained two, 272 actual teachers. Um, the course is being offered in 62 districts over 100 schools, but as you probably know about Georgia there's over 160 districts so we have, are reaching out we've got another dozen or so already committed for this summer so we're trying to grow it offer it everywhere in Georgia. Right now, by the end of the semester, 6,330 Georgia uh, high school students will have completed the course. Would have been more, but for COVID, but a lot of COVID school, you know, a lot, sorry, a lot of schools went, went virtual to start, which they went with an asynchronous um, uh, <clears throat> virtual course. We don't have that for dramatic writing. So we think this number is gonna at least double by this time next year in, you know, 2021-22. Uh, it's a thing. Here's the training. So again, like we said, it's led by industry professionals, real screenwriters, real, real uh, playwrights, et cetera, and English language arts curriculum experts. Completers get a, um, you know, the uh, micro endorsement. But I want to point out this retention pro program. We're really proud of that and wish that, wish that um, that would take off in other areas like, like a retention program for um, student teaching. But, but the main thing is what this does is it networks the teachers that have gone through it and the future teachers like yourselves, they have gone through it, social media, but also listserv, also on Google Docs where, where the uh, curriculum lives. 
but also I run the professional development programs throughout the year because I know where the teachers are in the curriculum. They're using our curriculum um, and the curriculum is flexible uh, so they can put it in their teacher bodies, but they're using our curriculum. We'll know where they are. So like, for instance, when multi-genre research project comes up, we'll offer a um, PL on Zoom and bring in a teacher who's taught it several times and has some resources to share. Also bring in an ELA expert that, that taught them that. And then um, teachers can pop on, ask questions. We can talk through things, but if you can't make it, we record it. So it's always available. We do that. I'm, I'm preparing one for screenwriting right now um, to bring on the screenwriting uh, uh, folks that we use. So this keeps you, because we didn't want to just teach you a full curriculum in a week and drop you off a cliff. We want the course to do well. We want you to do well. Also this year, it's been very valuable because of COVID and because of the shorter amount of time for teaching, we've brainstormed ways to still, you know, very much uh, be responsible with the curriculum. So the training we have is um, this the, the, is in May, you would sign up through the Georgia Film Academy. It's one week, nine to four. This summer, we're gonna do it um, synchronous online, but again, it's very participatory. We're always bringing in new new folks. We did it last summer and worked out really well. Um, but you pick one of those weeks, not all of them. Uh, and the cost for teachers is seven fifty through the University System of Georgia. But for you guys, and this is where where I'm saying, here's a great opportunity because there is no college course yet um, that. But we do want to make sure that as you get out in the job market that you have the same opportunities. So the teacher ed discount through the University System of Georgia is $500. You just need that, that uh, promo code in order to sign up through the Georgia Film Academy. Um, this, again, would be a great course to when you're in an interview to say, hey, I've got my um, or I'm about to get my uh, teaching uh, micro endorsement for dramatic writing. Um, at the very least, even if you're not going to teach it, it's more training and that's good. But 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 a lot of schools um, either only have one teacher or don't have any yet, but they're planning to. And here you are, you come to them with a micro endorsement. We just think it's a good thing to be able to say at an interview. So if you're on the market now or, or going to be um, next year, now's the time to take this course. Hopefully that explains um, to you what this is, and I hope to see you guys soon in the uh, dramatic writing training, uh, but please don't hesitate to reach out um, with questions.